Cheaper, fast charging, and no supply shortages. That's the dream battery material for the EV industry. And industry leaders in China are about to make this dream a reality. While Tesla expands this business by investing millions in a refinery plant, China bets on cheap next-gen sodium-ion batteries for this reason. The largest Chinese battery manufacturers in the world, CATL and BYD, have already begun mass production of sodium-ion batteries, even though many experts thought it would only be suitable for stationary batteries. China's biggest EV manufacturer, BYD, shocked the industry with the first sodium-ion battery electric car. BYD has deployed a sodium-ion battery in a small city runabout, and created the most affordable electric car for less than $10,000. However, BYD plans to implement this new battery technology across its entire EV range, as it offers many advantages over lithium-ion batteries. What is this new electric car with a sodium-ion battery all about? Could this be the future of electric vehicles? How good is the car in reality? and can it compete with the lithium competitors? The first tests were really impressive. BYD stands for Build Your Dream, and the company is on the verge of realizing people's dream of cheap, affordable, and reliable electric cars. But first, let's have a quick reminder of the advantages of sodium and some background information to understand its groundbreaking nature. When you look at the periodic table, you'll notice that sodium is next to lithium and has very similar physical and chemical properties. But sodium is more than 1,000 times more abundant, being found in salt as sodium chloride, and therefore much easier to extract and process. Sourcing sodium is also more sustainable than mining lithium, which has significant environmental impact. Every ton of lithium extracted by hard rock mining results in the release of 15 tons of carbon dioxide, CO2. When lithium is mined, the surrounding area is inevitably contaminated with harmful chemicals, including our most valuable resource, drinking water. In addition, sodium ion batteries are easy to recycle and do not require rare earth elements, which are also associated with environmental problems. Together with lithium, these materials are subject to massive shortages and price peaks, which isn't a reliable resource for sustainable growth in the industry. Lithium hydroxide's price rose from $6,800 in 2019 to $78,000 per metric ton. In comparison, sodium hydroxide is below $800 per metric ton, so the most significant advantage of sodium is cost. In terms of energy density and performance, it cannot compete with lithium NMC cells used in performance and long-range Tesla models. However, a significant problem with these cells is thermal runaway. You've probably noticed lately that electric vehicles suddenly caught fire or exploded a safety issue that sodium ion batteries do not have. But sodium batteries are more of a direct competitor to lithium iron phosphate, or LFP batteries, which Tesla and other automakers put the focus on now. Iron is also a much more abundant and cheaper resource, and the battery chemistry is safer, with a very high lifetime cycle of about 3,000 charging cycles. Even though the energy density of sodium ion batteries was initially a disadvantage, that is about to change now. Cattle quotes up to 160 watt hours per kilogram in the first generation sodium ion cells. This is even higher than the first LFP battery pack Tesla used in the Model 3 Standard Range Plus in 2020. It only reached 125 watt hours per kilogram in the early days and still covered a decent range of 210 miles. The LFP battery has continuously evolved into a reliable and affordable battery pack with a solid energy density of 160 watt hours per kilogram and is still improving. But CATL already achieved that with the first generation sodium battery and set the goal of 200 watt hours per kilogram for the next generation. This changes everything for the industry because sodium ion batteries beat LFP in two critical points. Sodium ion batteries can be charged up way faster and are more resistant to cold temperatures. The LFP battery has continuously evolved into a reliable and affordable battery pack with a solid energy density of 160 watt hours per kilogram and is still improving. But CATL already achieved that with the first generation sodium battery and set the goal of 200 watt hours per kilogram for the next generation. This changes everything for the industry because sodium ion batteries beat LFP in two critical points. Sodium ion batteries can be charged up way faster and are more resistant to cold temperatures. While LFP batteries lose significant capacity in cold temperatures, sodium batteries obtain 90% of their capacity even at minus 20 degrees Celsius. 
Surprisingly, a relatively unknown Chinese company called Seho was the first one to put sodium ion batteries in a small city runabout for test purposes, and the results were pretty impressive. They equipped the Seho E10X with a 120 watt hour per kilogram sodium ion battery. The small 25,000 watt hour sodium ion battery covers a decent distance of 155 miles and can recover 80% of its battery in only 15 minutes, perfect for short haul city drivers. Furthermore, the test verified 2,000 to 3,000 charging cycles, resulting in a median lifetime of 390,000 miles. Those are impressive stats for an electric vehicle, costing only $6,800. Mass production will ultimately reduce up to 40% of battery cost, realizing the dream of affordable electric cars. However, BYD will probably be the first company to launch sodium-ion battery electric cars with their best-selling models. BYD is the world's largest rechargeable car manufacturer, with a total of over 1.8 million units sold in 2022 and also the fastest growing. The company already began testing the materials for the sodium-ion batteries back in December last year and will conduct A and B samples in the first quarter of 2023, with preliminary results expected in June. If successful, BYD plans to start mass production of the sodium-ion batteries in the second quarter of 2023. These batteries will initially be used in the BYD Seagull, a smaller sibling of the Dolphin model and perfect for short-haul city driving. The city runabout will be offered with both sodium-ion and lithium-ion battery versions with the former expected to be priced as low as 60,000 yuan, or $8,484, and the lithium version expected to be about $11,600. The BYD Seagull with the sodium-ion battery comes with a range of 185 miles, while the lithium-ion version covers 250 miles. The sodium-ion batteries will first be featured in smaller EVs of the brand, such as the BYD, Chin, Dolphin, and the new Seagull. However, as sodium-ion technology advances, they also plan to use it in shorter-range versions of the company's best-selling models, such as the BYD Atto 3, the BYD Seal, or the BYD Han. As batteries are still the most expensive part of an electric vehicle, this will further reduce the cost of higher premium models and make electric cars more affordable in the long term. If lithium battery prices remain high through 2026, there is a window of opportunity for sodium ion batteries to grow. CATL has already started mass producing sodium ion batteries and has long-term partnerships with automakers like Tesla. As a result, the sodium ion battery has an excellent opportunity for mass adoption in the industry and for becoming a standard for safe, reliable, and most importantly, affordable electric cars. Click the displayed video to learn how Tesla plans to win the race for cheap and affordable electric cars. Hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you like this content and stay updated about the world of technology. You know,